tell you what, the rate you've been pulling the wool over everyone's eyes, you should be working for MI5. Well, not anymore. What are you on about? <sighs> well, I meant what I said. If you think I'm letting you get away with it, you can think again. Look, I told you. All right, this, this is nothing to do with you. Well, tough, because I'm making it to do with me. So, them to up the stairs now, run them a bath, and make sure you put plenty of phase bubble bath in and all. <laughs> Why? Well, because kids love bubbles, don't they? No, no, I mean, why why are you helping us? Oh, God knows. Maybe I've gone soft in the head. Make sure you take the clothes off and stick them in the washing I'm basket. The, I'm the biggest. You are the biggest. You're nearly the biggest, aren't you? Right. Go on, <clears throat> upstairs, go and get oh, a nice. bath. <laughs> oh, well, it's all right, you just keep me waiting. There's a chip butty in the kitchen for you if you want it. Yeah, sorry, babe, Jake was dead excited. I couldn't turn myself away. Well, He's not the only one that's excited. Mm. No, that's not for you. Oh, sorry, I just assumed you had your hands pulled. No, you have it. I'm taking this one out. Oh, am I coming? No. How come? Well, to celebrate me being back, obviously. Yeah, right. What's the real reason? All right, well, as soon as you ask, I've decided that I'm not going to chuck the job in after all. And when did you decide that? Just now. You've been back five minutes, you're already sick of it. I know that I said that I like the gifts. Do you not think that maybe we should Look, right now, I just want to enjoy having you all to myself. Unless you've become really boring and forgotten how to have fun. Yeah, she definitely has. Well, yeah, I'm starting to shift in half an hour. Oh, that's my case. Shut up, you. I've already told them that I can't do that craft beer thing. I just don't want them thinking I'm flaky. All right, well, if you'd sooner go to work. No, I wouldn't sooner go So to don't, work. then, jack it in. It's not like we need the money anymore, is it? Can I jack my job in, Gary? Where has this come from suddenly? Look, we haven't seen each other for ages. And you're telling me that we can't just let our hair down for one afternoon? You don't mind having our idea? Apparently not. Fine, OK. I'm going to have to get someone to cover my shit. Right, I'll sort that out. You just get up them stairs and get something sexy on, <laughs> OK? Oh, the after. Go on. bumping into each other like this and people are going to talk. So, what do you think? Well, I'm not being funny, but has anything actually changed since the last time I saw it? What are you talking about? This is it finished. I'll have you know the condemned look is very, very in right now. <laughs> in that case, I take it back. It's amazing. <sighs> are you sure we can't have a peek inside? Not unless you can magic up the keys. Could always break in. You spent too much time around those tearaways. <laughs> Hold on, the door's open. That's not normally that sloppy. I don't think it's burglars. Oh, you'd want to burgle this place. Do you mind? If it makes you feel any better, I'll go in first. Don't want you thinking I'm some namby pamby do gooder. Never gonna let me live that down, are you? Come on. I can keep this up all day. I've got nothing else in the diary. <laughs> you know what you need, Andy? You need a place to put your feet up. You know, somewhere nice and quiet where you won't be disturbed. I've got just the place for you. Please. He said you'd let me go. And I would have done it all if you'd have passed our little test. <laughs> <laughs> you thought the uh, accident was for real? You really think I would wave you off into the world without knowing what you were going to do for sure? I was just going to get help. I wasn't going to tell anyone. Oh, oh. That's why you rang for the ambulance, wasn't it? Because you were concerned for my welfare. And then you hung up. Eileen's always saying, Pat, you're too gullible for your own good. I'm sorry, I panicked. If, if you just give me one more chance. 
Well, when the trust is gone, Andy, the trust is gone. <laughs> you can't do this. I've learnt my lesson. Have you? That's really heartening to hear. Come on, son. Come with me. You'll be all right. Relax. <laughs> I don't think so, Liam. Pull that back now. What are you playing at? <laughs> it was this or playing uh, Fast and Furious in my car. I thought this was uh, marginally safer. <laughs> what, letting him tie you up and gag you, yeah? That's really responsible. <laughs> anyway, I asked our Kurt to look after him, not you. Well, I'm sorry if I did you a favour. Well, thank you, but you can go now. Fine, but he's got my phone. I hid it in the bedroom. <clears throat> go and get it then, Liam. <laughs> Me and him have got nothing to do with you anymore. But you're still my family. Not the way I see it. Yeah, cheers. And the other tenor, please, that you put in your pocket. <laughs> to be continued another time. <laughs> <laughs> I won't bank on that. You know, for someone who's uh, so over me, you've got a funny way of showing it. I think it's you that needs to get over yourself. Fine. But I'm getting married to Eva. Whether you like it or not. Well, no burglars or serial killers. You sound disappointed. I love a lost cause. <sighs> so what is this room going to be? I thought this could be the lounge. Hold on, I thought you said that room was going to be the lounge. Oh, that's going to be the second lounge. Pat wants some kind of um, cinema room, was not it? Oh, really? What about the sauna? Or is uh, that going in the cellar? No, 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 I'm going to put that in the red room along with my kinky stuff. <laughs> Hang on a minute. It's my dad you're talking about. I'm trying to convince Pat to make the cellar into a utility room. Well, let's have a look then. Oh, you can't. He keeps it locked. He says it's not safe. Well, we'll be careful. I've seen a tool bag. Hmm. Maybe it's got a sonic screwdriver. It's a bit big, but it'll do for now. Can I really work here? Uh, learn your time tables first, mister, and then we'll see, yeah? Mm. Shame, really. Be nice to have another bloke around. Right, tell you what, go and start by wiping down that table over there. Are you sure that there's no chance for you and Robert? You seem so perfect together, shall I? Yeah, well, appearances can be deceptive, can't they? Are you sure you want to go back there? Why wouldn't I be? Because it does me head in, not knowing what you're getting yourself into. I'm fine. Are you going to drink that or what? Um, give me a chance. Lightweight. Oh. So now I'm boring and a lightweight. There's only one way to prove me wrong, isn't there? That's better. So how did it go? How did what go? The job. You barely said two words about it. Yeah, because it's back. boring, Sarah. Michelle, same again, please, with four tequilas. No, my gosh, I'll be falling off my chair. Uh, hey, falling off your chair is much underrated. Yeah, especially if someone else is paying. Fine. All right, I'm just going to nip to the ladies before I can't see the way. Come here, you. I missed you. I missed you too. Well, I can't help it if I'm the brains of the operation. If you're so good, yeah, why don't you have a go? You want a job doing properly? Do it yourself. What the hell oh! do you think you're doing? Out! You gave me a heart attack! I thought I told you that cellar's not safe. Yeah, you did. You also told me that you'd gone to Inverness. So before we do anything, I think you're the one with the explaining to do. Floor. 
The job's not until next week. That's right. So I drive all the way up to the lakes, only for my friend to call me and say we've got to put the job back. So you set off without checking with him first? Well, I don't know whether you've noticed, love. I'm sort of busy. If I'm not busting a gut here, I'm over helping you at your flat. So why come here? Why didn't you just go straight home? Because I didn't want to waste a day. I thought I'd do some graft here, then take my two favourite ladies out for tea. By way of apologising to you for my wife's appalling behaviour last night. Yeah. Anyway, you're both lucky I did come along. Both of you could have ended up with snap necks. What did you think you were doing, breaking in here? It was her idea. Cheeky man. I don't care whose idea it was. Both of you. I don't want either of you anywhere near here without me. Is that clear? If anything should happen to either of you, God knows. Okay? So please. Do we still get taken out for our tea? <laughs> I'll think about it. Now, beat it. I'm going to lock up. I'll see you back at home. Yeah. Sorry, and um, glad you got the dates wrong. Mm. Uh, can you save that for your kinky red room in the cellar? Just ignore her. Hey, I hope you two aren't plotting behind my back. As if. Oh, and just for the record, we didn't break in. The door was open. So you need to be more careful, because anyone could have walked in. Tomorrow night. Only a spot to Will and he's really up for it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Great. See you then. See you later. I've come to apologize. For what? Abducting other people's animals. With hindsight, I realize that taking him into my care may have been unnecessarily harsh. That's all right. You did what you had to do, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No hard feelings. All right, go on then, hand him over. I, I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. You see, an unexpected complication has arisen. What do you mean, complication? He's grown very attached to me. <laughs> right, I hate to burst your bubble, Yasmin, but David does that to everybody. He's a little minx. Leads you on so he can get what he wants and he just drops you like a stone. Well, nevertheless, I think it best he stays with me. What are you talking about stays with you? You can't nick me dog. In custody situations like this... Custody situations? It's vital that the interest of the animal be put first. Hang on, so you're saying he prefers to stay with you than David? Precisely. Right. OK, right, if that's what you think, prove it. I'm sorry? Stick him down. Whoever he walks to gets to keep him. <sighs> Same again? Oh. <laughs> no. Mark my trees, it is. Good. <sighs> Look, why don't we make a night of it, eh? I'll book us into a really posh hotel. Tonight? <sighs> what about Harry? He's got David and your mum. Come on, how often do we get to do this? Oh, I can't just drop everything at a moment's notice. I could do it at the weekend. No, I don't want to do it at the weekend. I want to do it now. You know what, it's fine, you go back. I'm gonna go into town. By yourself? It's not a crime, is it? No. Are you sure you're all right? You just seem... sort of... Sort of what? Sort of different. I probably just need to let off a bit of steam. Right, do you guys need anything else? Only I might have to nip down the cash and carry the rate you're getting through it. Just the bill. Right. Look, I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Don't wait up. Are you seriously going to do this? Just relax, will you? Got it in the bag. And you, remember who feeds you, yeah? And who gives you little pedicures every night? Well, not every night, because that'd be weird, wouldn't Look, it? Look, are we going to do this or not? Yeah, 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 just keep your fur on. Right. Come on, eyes on the prize, eyes on the prize. Right. On your marks. <clears throat> Get set. Go. Come on, sweetheart. Come to Mummy. I'll cook you some of your favourite lamb and rice surprises. Ignore all that, David. 
David, look at me. Eyes to me. All right, in there. There's six chicken nuggets with your name on it, all right? All you've got to do is let your little paws do the talking, all right? Over here. David! Oi! You even listening to me? You see, there you go, shouting at him again. No wonder he doesn't want to go with you. It's not exactly going with you, is it? Look, this is stupid. You're just confusing him. Who are you? Dog whisperer. Well, why don't you just share him? Share him? Yeah, like joint custody. You know, you have him at weekends, you have him in the weekday. Well, I suppose it could work. Yeah? No chance. Come here. What are you doing? David's my dog, all right? And I'm not sharing with anyone. It was your idea to make him choose in the first place. Well, I've changed my mind. If you don't like it, sue me. Since when do you like lemon and rice? Hey, hiya, sweetheart. Hi, Anna. Hiya, darling. Come and sit down, your tea's ready. And you, missus, what time do you call this to be coming home from school? Uh, before you have a go, she's been at the garage. Oh. Oh, insisted on tidying the office and uh, making us coffees. Oh, right, I see. You thought if you got to him first, he could put a good word for you with me. Well, nice try. Look, if you're going to kick off, at least get it over with. Uh, we'll decide when we kick off. When are you going to kick off? I don't know. When I'm good and ready and not a minute before. In the meantime, you can come and get this table set. We've got guests. How come? Oh, did I not mention? Please tell me you haven't. Haven't what? Um. Seb, what are you doing here? I invited him. Charlie and Lexi meet Kevin. He's a lot nicer than he looks. Oh, if you've brought him here, just to lay into him. I haven't. Come on, kids, come and sit down. Hey, I hope you like face mash. Come on, darling, up you get. Good girl. OK? Come on, eat up. Dane! Oh, you two make a cute couple. You little rat. Look, I don't know why you're playing at spying on me. Well, you got out to my call yesterday. I want to check you were all right. Just as well I did, eh? Look, whatever you're after, you're not going to get it, so just do one, will you? So you can go back to your new boyfriend? That's not what you're on about. What about you? Copping off with Kylie's grieving ex? Oh, I think you've been taking one too many of Macca's pills again. Huh. I've seen you. Look, I don't know what lies Macca's been spreading, but if I ever see you around no, you here do again... What? So, Clayton, maybe I'll do it for you. Look, Clayton's got nothing to do with this. You think you've got it all now, don't you? With your new little family and your money, I think it's about time you shared some of your good fortune with your nearest and dearest. That's what I'm about. I'd come back when you're in a bit more of a giving mood. Sound like a plan? Right, I'm not going to lie. What happened out there was not cool. A man expects total loyalty from his dog. It's page one of the canine code of conduct. But I shall shoulder some of the blame because I feel like I should have shown you a bit more attention. So for that, I apologise. Now, are we cool? Not yourself out. And if you're a good boy, maybe I can rustle up some of Yasmin's lamb and rice thing that you like. Hmm? I'll have to nick the recipe. If you'd seen how the poor lad lived, everywhere I looked, it was full of empties. The place was like a bottom bank. Which is why I said you should have gone to social services. But I know, but I couldn't cut her because he kept begging me not to. And you can say whatever else you like about him. He loves the bones of them kids. Look, I'm not saying that he's perfect. And he's the last person that I wanted to fall in for. But you know what? Maybe, maybe he's just been punished enough. And you know what, Kev, if we don't help him, then who will? Pat Phelan. Your bed's still here, I was going to dump it. I was that sure <laughs> you were going to pass the test. <sighs> We live in there, don't we? Ah! You know the drill. Get it on. You're an animal, you know that. Yeah. I'll be worse. No animal would be this cruel. You want to be thankful you're not buried out in them woods. I'm 
this is better, is it? <laughs> Wasting away in here like some, some stinking piece of meat. You should have thought about that before you did your little triathlon. You can't do this to me. I... Think I wanted you back in here. I think I wanted this. I think I wanted this. Huh? You back here. Hey? All you had to do, one thing, stick to the deal, but no, not you. You gotta ruin it for us, haven't you? you... Now you've made your bed, you lie in it. What are you gonna do? What am I gonna do? That's a good question, Andy. Good question. Now I know I can't trust you. You left me with a problem. What do you mean? I don't, I don't want to kill you, and I can't let you go. So until we come up with a better solution, you're just going to have to stay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please. 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 Cheer up, Andy. You might see the sunshine one day. I wouldn't hold your breath on it, though. Next, starting a brand new six-part thriller tonight here on ITV, Untangling Truth from Lies is a Complicated Affair. Joanne Froggart and Johan Griffith star in Liar. <laughs> 